The Flying Scotsman evokes memories of a bygone British railway era, an engineering marvel that demands attention. And they've come from far and wide just to see her. Its design is so wonderful, you know, and it's so elegantly designed. It's my 70th birthday this year, so as a surprise birthday just two weeks ago, my wife gave me the tickets for today, so I'm absolutely ecstatic. It's the seam, it's the green, it's the sense of nostalgia. After so many years, the Flying Scotsman still means so much to so many people. She may be almost 100 years old, but she didn't look out of place snaking past the newer Emirates Stadium. These keen fans on the tracks, though, were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Around 60 of them brought the Flying Scotsman and the entire East Coast mainline to a standstill for 15 minutes. <laughs> Travelling by steam, but in the digital age, the engineers who restored her say this train is hugely important for Britain. It's up there with Concorde, with Titanic, you know, some really big names in, in the wheels of industry that have gone on. And it's, it's essential that we, we get it right and it's, it's here today for everyone to enjoy it. Last, the public can actually see it, enjoy it. This engine cost £8,000 to build in 1923. Its restoration has taken a decade and cost £4 million. But its legacy now seems assured. The Flying Scotsman reached York in true style this afternoon and fans of the train will still be able to see her during an upcoming UK tour. Warren Nettleford, 5 News.